hello come out on a mission it is probably about 1 1 a.m. I'm in Bradwell on sea coming to one of my favorite places in Essex St. Peter's Chapel built in about 654 AD by Saint Said the patron saint of Essex very spooky walking down a lane it's literally pitch black all I've got is my head torch now if I just turn it on normal you'll see that's just my head torch and if I turn that off that's how dark it is got about a quarter of a mile walk down this little lane reputedly haunted place by Roman soldiers the um, chapel as I say was built in about 654 AD by Saint Said one of its names is it's called Saint Peter's Chapel but some people call it Saint, Pe Saint Peter's on the wall because it's built on the wall of an old Roman fort called Aphona and Saint Said come along after the Romans had left and used the foundations of the wall of the of the Fort Aphona and built his little stone chapel there. It's something like is it the 14th or the 18th oldest building in England? And it's one of my favourite places in Essex. Been here at night before but never on my own. <laughs> but Saint Said, I like Saint Said. He's one of my favourite saints because again he's the patron saint of Essex. He's one of the last of the um, Celtic trained saints. I think he was actually at the Synod of Whitby um, on the side of the Romans though. Um, but let's not hold that against him. But he was Celtic trained I believe, he was an Anglo-Saxon himself and I believe he was Celtic trained up in Lindisfarne, however you pronounce that. But it's a very nice place, a very interesting place and a very interesting part of history. I've got a flask of coffee in my bag so let's hope it's open so I can go in and have a coffee, a little warm up and a little film. I believe I can see it there in the distance, the cam can't quite pick it up yet. It's only a small little chapel but it's surprisingly high and dominating on this pretty much otherwise blank landscape that are coming to you in a minute. Yeah, Romans have been seen, Roman centurions, I believe, and the sound of Romans as well. I mean, you can see the size of it by the door. That's quite a large door. Go in. There's not really much to see. You can see here, I don't know if you can see the shape around here where there was a hole in the side once. And that is actually one of the reasons why it managed to survive. Because a farmer had been using it for hundreds of years, or farmers been using it for hundreds of years to keep animal and cattle and grain and whatever else in. You can see here 
it, it did have a, a tower at this end that you can see it comes out around there it used to, which was lost to time but luckily because of the farmer the main bulk of the building survived with some new additions which that brickwork is almost definitely it's 100% more modern but the majority of it would have been built out of the stone of the Roman fort and it looks like there was another bit at the side here now it's the telling time to see whether it is unlocked used to be always unlocked I believe it still will be please pull the handle towards you and turn clockwise door latch sticks big heavy door, I mean that door is some 10 foot tall I reckon I love this place, I haven't been here for a long time it hasn't changed Well, I'm glad I finally got here. It's been quite a few years. It's been a long time since I've been out on a mission and it's been even longer since I've been somewhere as far. It's 25 miles. But when you suffer with anxiety, 25 miles is, is a long way to, to go. Now, I don't really want to think about that too much because I've got 25 miles to go back. But um, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad that I've come this way, this far, and and I'm proud of myself. So it's a little achievement, and I'm glad the weather's finally allowing me to get back out on my missions, even though it's still cold. It's still only about I think about two degrees out there. So I had to wrap up two pairs of trousers, two pairs of socks. My legs were still getting cold with my thick biking jacket keeps me warm, my, my core and I'm just very glad that I've come out on a little mission it might not seem very significant and very far to most people but trust me when you suffer with anxiety going somewhere on your own in the middle of the night um, it, it's, it's a sense of achievement for me and Really, this is only the start of things that I'm going to be doing. Anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy my coffee and, and show you a little bit more of this beautiful place. One of my favourite places in Essex.
Celtic Connection, Celtic Heroes of Faith, Practical Celtic Spirituality. Bishop of the East Saxons, Celtic Knotwork. That's what it would have looked like. Alright, anyway, let's, I think it's time to leave. Get back out there. Get back on the road. <laughs> Not left anything. to St. Peter's Chapel until the next visit. Wind's getting up. And I think that's a little bit of rain. Just the odd dot. Hopefully it'll hold off till I get home. That actually feels like snow. <laughs> or looks like snow. And I think that is it.